Okay, this is just a simple experiment we're carrying out um, in regards to a magnet's position in relation to a inductor or generating coil and um, the associated wave uh, produced by the uh, magnet when it is approaching the centre of the coil and then again leaving it. I have a wooden block here that stops our little swinging magnet dead centre in the uh, of the coil's core and um, we're simply going to turn that magnet and watch the scope trace on our scope. I have the time base set fairly high it's uh, 500 milliseconds or half a second um, per division so uh, we can't go much higher than that um, otherwise we get all sorts of silly things happening um, so all I'm going to do is um, we'll just move our magnet out of the way you'll see a little spike just took place there so it gives you an idea of what's going to happen um, I'm going to slowly move the magnet towards the coil until such time as it hits the stopper which will be top dead centre um, as far as the magnet and the core of the coil's relationship goes and we're going to have a look at the sine wave produced or the half sine produced for some reason there's some bloke out there that thinks we're going to get a full sine of some description by approaching the core without leaving it but I don't know what's going on there anyway we're going to look um, both at the sign and the position of the magnet so I'm going to do it fairly slowly so you can watch the position of the magnet in relation to the core and the wave that we get and I'll try and do it as smoothly as I can of course it's going to be a bit jumpy when we're set at a very low time base like this or high time base should I say so um, all I'm going to do we're just going to, we'll have a few goes at it, um, move the magnet towards the core and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll do it once again. I'm trying to do it very slowly. Of course I can do it a bit quicker, we create more voltage. But you'll see, um, it's probably hard to do. But you will see peak voltage is reached at about here. And then the voltage starts to drop as we get closer to the centre. And that's exactly how it should be. Because once the magnet is lined up with the uh, core of the coil, um, that is when there is the most magnetic flux linkage from the magnet to the core um, which means the magnetic field is no longer changing in time and that should be our zero volt point and so once again so you can see the voltage starts to drop before we hit the stop and you should be able to hear the clunk of the stop right at the zero volt point No, it's not very loud, but um, see if I went really fast at the end, it drops off rapidly. And of course, you can also see that we go from the center away, we get our negative sign or our reverse voltage inverted voltage then that situation normal I don't think I'm going to be able to slow it down anymore because it starts to get really messy Try 
it down a bit quicker. All those little wobbles and shake, that is me not having a very steady movement. But I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see that peak voltage is hit before we get to the centre of the core. When we reach the centre that will be the zero volt line. Like so. Be easy if I had a um, nice smooth mechanical actuator to uh, produce this, but I'm not going to go that far in this experiment. I am, however, going to. Um, make a little spinning generator and uh, set up a uh, timing light to it so we can see the position of each magnet in relation to the core of the coil um, which indicates our uh, peak voltage and we'll be able to use both channels on our scope to show us where the magnet is and where peak voltage is reached So I'll just take the stopper out now, as I said I would do a run from the 10 o'clock to the 2 o'clock position, um, of course this will be an estimate. So I'm trying to do it as smooth as I can, and of course it will be the same and we go the other way. That wasn't a very good one, was it? So you can definitely see as the magnet's approaching we hit a maximum and as we get closer to the core I might do that again a little quicker freeze that. <coughs> so here we're approaching the core and we hit a maximum um, voltage value across our coil and as this voltage starts to drop off rapidly that means that we are approaching the centre of the core very rapidly. The very centre of the core, um, the magnet, when the magnet is lined up with the centre of the core will be exactly here at our zero volt line. Um, where our inverted voltage or where our voltage inverts over to the negative sign must pass through zero volts and that point there will be this point here as it sits at rest there with the magnet directly in the middle of the core so um, that's it for that little experiment actually it's not I believe he wanted to see it with an air core as well so this is why I set this up, so I can just slide the laminate steel core out. And we can now have a look at just using an air core. And you see we get the same effect. So once again, that point right there, um, our zero volt line will be when the magnet is in the middle of our coil now, um, which would be the very same position as where that magnet would be in the middle of the core. So it must pass through the zero volt line, um, and it does that when the magnet is directly in line with the centre of the core. <coughs> you don't get that waveform um, from one half cycle. As someone out there likes to believe. And of course we go faster we produce more voltage because the rate of change is quicker. 
of the magnetic field, like so. Okay, so I um, hope that helps you out. Um, Shiloh, I believe that's uh, who wanted to see that. Uh, I will set up a uh, better demo using a nice flywheel that creates a nice sine wave and um, we'll somehow rig up a timing light so we can see where the position of each magnet is in relation to our uh, core um, and peak voltage produced across the coil. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bit of a boring video for some, but um, there are others that wanted to see it, so I made it. And um, the next one will be a little more complicated to set up and uh, be a bit more accurate than this one, but um, that gives you a basic idea of what's going on. Cheers guys.